Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio overview of the Library Widget. The Library Widget is represented in the widget bar at the bottom of the Wide Orbit screen by a red icon with a graphic of a book on it, titled Library. The library displays all elements associated with your radio station. All music, imaging, commercials, and so on are shown in the library in this tile view. By default, the library is sorted by title. At the top of the library widget, the station identifier shows the name of the station for the displayed library. To locate media assets in your library, enter a specific search string into the search bar. The clear button removes any characters from the search bar and resets the search results. The scroll buttons allow you to flip through the pages of the library widget, as well as through searches that return a large number of results. The Sort menu provides options for sorting the library widget, as well as the search results. In addition to the default title sort, you can sort by Artist, Trivia, Length, Year, Asset ID, Created Date, and Stop Date. To the right of the Sort menu button is the Sort Order button. Selecting this icon will toggle the displayed items in the library widget in either ascending or descending order. At the bottom of the library widget are five buttons. New, Info, Full Edit, Quick Edit, and Delete. The New button allows you to create new media assets in the library by opening the Audio Editor widget. The Audio Editor widget is discussed in its own module. The Info button opens a slide-up window to display basic information about the selected media asset. Using the Full Edit button opens the selected media asset into the Audio Editor widget. The Quick Edit button will open the selected media asset directly into the Waveform Editor widget. The Delete button allows a permissioned user to permanently delete media assets from the library. The Delete button will prompt you to make sure you want to permanently delete the selected media asset. It won't ask you if you're really sure. Once you click OK, the selected media asset is permanently and instantaneously removed from the system. The search in the library widget is a literal search. It will search for the characters as entered in the metadata fields that are enabled in the widget configuration. For example, if you type in Madonna and like, the system will search all media assets in the database for instances of the entered search string for all displayed fields in the library widget. And in this example, we'll return the following replies. Like a prayer and like a virgin. If I type in the characters COM, the system will return commercials in the COM category, but will also return items with the word community, computer, compassion, etc. So if you want to relegate your search to a specific category, you would type in the three-character category name followed by a forward slash, typically the one under the question mark on your keyboard. Now the remainder of the search is focused to the COM category. If you know the four-digit media asset ID that you're searching for, enter it immediately after the forward slash. Otherwise, if you don't have the asset ID, but you know the title or artist or some other metadata, put a space after the forward slash and continue to enter the metadata search string. You can also search for items in the database of a certain specific length or length range. For example, suppose you're three minutes and change short to the top of the hour. Your music category is 080. 
you want to search for a song to fill in your hour to get it closer to the top. Enter the search string 080 followed by a forward slash and a space. Following the space, type 3 minutes to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. The library will return all of the items in the 080 category that are between 3 minutes and 3 minutes and 30 seconds in length. You can then use the sort menu to sort by length and the sort order button to display the search results from the shortest to the longest in length. Find the song that best fits your needs, select it, and insert it into the stack, playlist, or player widgets. Adding assets from the library to the stack, playlist, or player widgets is pretty straightforward. Once you've located the media asset you wish to add, press its tile in the library widget. The tile will turn blue to show it has been selected, and a selected asset message will display at the top right of the screen. The stack, playlist, and player widgets will display insert icons. Press the insert icon at the desired position to insert the selected media asset into the chosen widget. To insert items into the hotkey widget, the hotkey widget must be placed into edit mode. This will be covered in further detail in the hotkey widget module. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the library widget for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.